Histamine intolerance is something that a lot of us struggle with that we're not sure if we have it. And if you do have it, then you've seen me do many videos talking about the benefits of supporting your gut microbiome with probiotics to minix. Probiotics to minix is a probiotic that is designed using strains of probiotics that do not produce histamine. And they're also research to show that they may modulate healthy histamine levels within the gut. So probiotics minix has been a game changer for many, many people. There's hundreds and hundreds of reviews on Amazon and seekinghealth.com. And per capsule is 10 billion. So if you're eating higher histamine containing foods or higher histamine containing drinks, or you are struggling with a leaky gut, um, you know, or you have tended towards looser stools, those are associated with higher histamine levels and probiotics minix may help you. Now there's 10 billion per capsule. And this is what the capsule looks like. So when I originally formulated Probiosaminix, it was 25, no, it was 20 billion per capsule, but I learned that it was too expensive and too potent. If you take too much Probiosaminix, you can actually get constipation. In fact, there was an individual who commented on Instagram not too long ago and said, look, I've been taking histamine block and Probiosaminix for a long time, and now I'm struggling with constipation. Is that a problem? I was like, well, yeah, you need to pulse it. So if you, if you find that you are taking probiotics to minix and histamine block, and now you didn't have constipation, but now you do, stop taking it and drink something like kombucha or have some kefir um, or have some sauerkraut, have something with some histamine in it, maybe some you know uh, fermented meats, and then you should get the bowel movements because histamine supports bowel motility. Now, you've also talked, you heard me talk about opening the capsule and, you know, a lot of you wanted to open the capsule and sprinkle it on food. And you can see here, I'm having difficulties. It's not so easy and I opened it upside down and I made a mess. And you've seen me talk about various ways to, to use that. Okay, but it's kind of a mess. So I heard you. So we came out with Probiotis Minix powder and Probiotis Minix powder per serving, there are 25 billion, make sure that I'm right here, 25 billion units. We got this cute little scooper. My hands are clean. Now, there are a number of ways you can take this. So it's nice, simple powder, and it, it, it just scoops right out of here. I just throw it right on my mouth. I'm not gonna do it because uh, I usually take it at night. Some people add it in water. I'm not a fan of that because um, it's, it's not gonna mix well and you see you're gonna waste money. You're gonna get it on the side of the, of the container. So some of you are like, oh, can I add it to my smoothies? Can I add it to my yogurts? Can I add it to my kid's drink? Well, you can, but look how many billions I'm wasting on the side, all right? And it, it smell it, Theo, what do you think? It's, I mean, it's not the best, but it doesn't smell that bad. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a like a starchy smell to it. Um, so what I do recommend, if you if you don't want to just dump it right in your mouth, so when you if you do dump it in your mouth, I'll just do it. You don't want to touch anything. So I have a nice firm hold. I know the distance of this. I'm gonna keep my tongue in my mouth. Oh. And it's in there. My scoop isn't empty, so I need to flick it a little bit more. Okay, so we're good. And it tastes fine. It tastes, I don't know. Like nothing. Yeah. Here, Theo, give you some. Oh, almost dropped it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna flip it around here. Cameraman, Theo. Kind of sticky. That yeah, is. But Theo, Theo likes sticky. And he likes chewy. Yeah, honestly, I kind of like the taste of it. <laughs> yeah, it tastes good. It tastes kind of nutty. So let me show you another way though. You go, Theo. Yep. So this is a, another good way. So if, if, if your child can't uh, swallow pills or you don't want to swallow pills, another way to do it is I'm left-handed, so I'm not, I don't know how to eat with my right hand, but you just dump it on a bite of food. You can also mix it under your food and um, you just eat it. And, you, and when you talk, you blow it everywhere. And then the handle is long, so you gotta 
put it back in like so. Tightly closed, leave it in the fridge, <laughs> line up the tops. And these are special containers. So I know a lot of you live in hot, uh, sunny areas. These containers are very expensive. They are designed to keep humidity out. Humidity is what kills bacteria because what happens, or, or probiotics, because humidity makes the probiotic come alive and then the probiotic comes alive when in the capsule or in the powder in the container, but there's no food in there. There's no prebiotic in here, then they die. So that's why humidity and heat kills your probiotics. That's the reason I learned that from Daniel who works with us, which is pretty cool. So we have a container which has a uh, built-in desiccant in the entire container so they can ship without ice. And we've tested them, lab tested them with uh, thermometers in the box, in the packaging. And then after we ship them to a hot place for some time, then we take out the capsule and we send it to a lab and taste, test for potency. And our, our QC department um, can verify, but the viability of the probiotic was unfazed. It wasn't even touched. So that is how to use probiotics to mix powder and or the capsule. I use the capsule because it's 10 billion per serving. Some of you may really need a more potent uh, form and that's 25 billion per scoop. If you don't want to have 25 billion per scoop, just use half a scoop or, or so to get even less. Um, and so I've also talked about using probiotic in various other applications and this as a powder makes your life a lot easier. Find both at seekinghealth.com. We have double rewards going on right now. What does that mean? Double rewards is basically when you purchase something, you get 10% off your future purchase. So it's pretty good savings. So take care and also share below how Probiosminix has supported you or it's affected you. And I will comment and help you out. Take care.